Hi guys and welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about the new feature of ECMAScript 2021 called Logical Assignment Operators. And although ECMAScript 2021 is not really out yet, the proposal called Logical Assignment Operators made it to stage 4 and it means that it's already approved and confirmed and only thing that it's waiting for is for the new release of a standard and then it will be included into ECMAScript and the new release will be ECMAScript 2021. So I think at this point in time it's already safe to start reviewing the features of ECMAScript 2021. And besides it's already included in Node.js version 15 so you don't even need to fiddle with Babel to try it out. So let's give it a shot. So how logical assignment operators look like? They look like this. It might look subtly familiar. We had this kind of operator combining operation with assignment with plus equals. So you all know this expression A plus equals B. And although they look very, very similar, the behavior of logical assignment operators has few very important differences. So as your intuition might be telling you, this operation will assign a value of B to the value of A, but only if A is falsy. As you remember, in JavaScript, all the values that will produce false when casting to Boolean are called falsy. So for example, empty string is falsy, zero is falsy. Um, undefined and null are also false, etc. And everything else that will produce true is called the truthy. Let's give it a shot. Let's say that a will have a value of zero and b will have value of five. Now, after this assignment, since a was falsy at the beginning, it will receive the value of b. So the value of a should be five. Okay, let's save this file and see the result here. I'm running Node1 in parallel in right pane, so whatever we're saving here will be printed out on the right. So same behavior will go for the other values. Let's say if A is null, then it will receive the value of five. However, if A has a value that is trucy, for example, string hello is trucy, then A will keep its original value. So now A is hello. And the same general mechanics will work for the other operators of the same family. So for example, this way, the assignment of B to A will only happen if A is trucy. So right now the value of A is string hello, it is trucy. Since it is trucy, this operator works and A gets reassigned a new value five. And vice versa, if A is falsy, then nothing will happen. It will keep its original value. So for example, if A is null, it will stay null after we use this operator. And then there is the third one that is derived from a recent feature. I believe it was in ECMAScript 2020 called Nullish Coalescing. And this operator just double question marks without equals. It's evaluating the nullishness of the value. If you don't know that yet, it just appeared recently in JavaScript, maybe just a little bit more than a year ago. And nullish are the null and undefined values. So for example, empty string is not considered nullish. So it's a bit stricter than falsy values and uh, allows you to have a bit more fine grain control around what you want to do. So here, obviously, A will receive a new value only if A is nullish. So if A is null specifically, then it should receive value of five, as you see here. Let me clear the screen so that we are not lost in our test cases. However, if A is also let's test for undefined, right? Undefined is also considered to be nullish. So then it assigns five to A. However, something like an empty string is not considered nullish anymore. And the value of a will be this empty string, right? So you don't see anything on this. It's not the greatest example. So if I put zero here, it should stay zero for a. So let's save the code. And you see the result. Now you might think that this operator behaves exactly like this kind of operators like plus equals. However, there are a couple of important differences that we will review together right now. And these differences are all about short circuiting of the operators. So what I mean by short circuiting. So let's review this expression a plus equals b. When dealing with this expression, a compiler will evaluate the value of b and then assign the new value to a even if b was zero and uh, it will not change the value of a of course, if it was the numeric value. And this seem like it might not be important. However, if you think that b may be a function, 
and uh, A may be something like an object with a setter, then this becomes a whole different story. So the function B will be executed all the time in this expression, and the setter function will also always be involved no matter what was the field value before or what is the return value of B. With logical assignment operators, this is not the case because it's subject to short circuiting. So let me really quickly remind you how this concept of short circuiting works. If you have an expression, a logical expression like A and B and C, then JavaScript virtual machine will evaluate just enough of this expression to derive the final value. So for example, if A is falsy, then JavaScript VM will not try to evaluate B and C because A is enough to give the final result of the expression, which in this case will be A. So if A is empty string, then it will not touch B and C, the result of this whole expression will be empty string. And if A is truthy, then it will go ahead and evaluate B, and then the same logic applies. If B is falsy, then it will return B, otherwise it will return C. And again, it doesn't matter much if A, B, and C are just values. However, if A, B, and C are functions, and these functions may have side effects, then this is the whole different story. Depending on the value that is returned by A, functions B and C might either be executed or not executed. And you probably see in JavaScript code expressions like this quite frequently. So if A exists, try to call function F. And recently this syntax was replaced by this kind of operator that is called optional chaining. So this kind of syntax is not used anymore. However, you understand the idea. Short circuiting means that you evaluate just as much of an expression as needed to give the final result. And you do not evaluate the other parts of the expression, you do not invoke the functions in that other parts of the expression. And uh, this logic of short circuiting, it fully applies to the logical assignment operators. So in this case, if A is truthy, there are two parts of this expression that will not be evaluated, not be executed. First of all, the value of B will not be evaluated because it doesn't matter what is the value of B. And if B is the function, it will not be executed. And second, even more important bit is that the assignment will not happen if A is truthy. If we're talking about the object that can have a setter or there is a field with a special behavior like inner HTML in a DOM, then it makes quite a big difference. Because if you're assigning a new value to inner HTML, and even if that new value is exactly the same as an existing value of inner HTML, browser will still recreate all the content that is described by inner HTML and elements might lose focus, etc. And usually you do not want that. So I believe while most of the time the subtle difference will not change the behavior of your program, it's still good to understand the mechanics of the operator. So in our case, this logical or assignment operator is not equal to this expression. And why these expressions are not equal? Well, because here the assignment is happening all the time, no matter what are the values of A and B, it will be equal to this expression, A or A equals B. So here the assignment only happens if A is falsy. So just to keep things organized in this video, I'll add these comments. And now with all these examples and explanation, I'm pretty sure that you understand very well how these operators really work. So let's recap. We have three additional logical assignment operators. First with or, the second with n, and the third one with nullish question marks. The first one will assign the value of B to A only if A is falsy. The second one will assign the value of B to A only if A is truthy. And the third one will assign the value of B to A only if A is nullish, meaning if A is null or undefined. And of course, we're not forgetting about short circuiting. So here with or if A is truthy, then assignment will not happen and B will not be evaluated. Same goes for the second expression. But if A is falsy, then assignment will not happen and evaluation of B will not happen. And the same goes for the third example. If A is not nullish, so it's not null or undefined, 
then this assignment will not happen and B will not be evaluated. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that this video helped you to become a little better JavaScript developer. And if you enjoy the content, please press that like button. It matters a lot to me and it matters a lot to YouTube algorithms. So please support this video and check out the other videos about the other features of ECMAScript 2021. Thank you very much and see you in the next videos. Bye.